Without taking too much time, I'll introduce you to the first um, uh, presenter who will, uh, who will, you know, put his own views uh, across. Um, that would be uh, Danika. I think most of you all uh, know Danika. Uh, Danika Pereira. Uh, Danika Pereira is the uh, founder and CEO of Basha Lanka Private Limited. Uh, he's an inventor of the Sinhala rendering technology on Android platform and he invented the set browser as the first Sinhala and Tamil supported web browser and Basha Helakuru has as the first Sinhala software keyboard and uh, IMI for Android. He was awarded the Empyrean South Asian Award in July 2011 and the Swabimani National Award in November 2011 for his innovation. So, Danika, close yours. Thank you, uh, today my presentation is uh, about the importance of local languages on mobile apps. So uh, this will be a quick presentation and I will start with a brief introduction. Now in Sri Lanka we have two uh, local languages that is uh, Sinhala and Tamil and in digital representation we have uh, standards, ICT standards for these languages for Sinhala, it's Sinhala Unicorn, and the standard is SLS 1134, and for Tamil, the standard is Tamil Unicorn, and the uh, standard is SLS 1326. Now, uh, and the, talking about the localization, now we have two uh, main categories of localization, and that is a UI localization and content localization. Now, if you are localizing, uh, the menus, buttons, uh, error messages, uh, those stuff that ca that can be uh, called as a UI localization. And if you if you are localizing the content, it is a content localization. Now, before going further on this topic, I would like to show you some uh, applications that are currently available in Singular uh, in localized UIs. Actually, uh, these are not uh, the, the applications are not uh, currently available in UIs of mobile platform but in desktop platform rather a PC platform now this is a Windows 7 Singhala and I hope uh, most of you already know that uh, Windows 7 UI is completely available uh, in Singhala and another one is uh, Open Office Singhala and this is the uh, interface and uh, other one is uh, Mozilla Firefox Singhala so these are some of uh, these are some examples of applications that are currently available in localized UI. But now we have a problem. Do people really use these apps? Do people really use this? Now uh, you may have this question. I have this question. So uh, you better ask yourself that as Sinhalis, as a Sinhalese or as a Tamil, are you using this? Uh, applications are you using these localized UIs? So the answer will probably be, be uh, no. So why is it? Now before we are going to localize these mobile applications, before we are going to develop localized mobile apps, we have to understand why these currently available uh, localized UIs in other platforms are not used by people, not used by masses. So uh, there are many reasons, but the uh, biggest reason is more than 90% of computer users in Sri Lanka can manage the English language that are used in US. Okay. Now I'm not uh, talking about the population, but uh, if you consider the computer users in Sri Lanka, now this graph shows uh, the English literacy of computer users in Sri Lanka. You can see now 90%, more than 90%, uh, for more than 90%, English is not an issue. Only for 10%, it is an issue. So in uh, desktop platform, we have only uh, the demand for local language, uh, localized UIs is only 10%. But is that the case with mobiles? Now let's see. I will explain this uh, step by step. Now, population in Sri Lanka is 20 million. Okay, and uh, according to the uh, newest reports, mo mobile phones in Sri Lanka is also 20 million. Sri Lanka has 20 million mobile phones. 
Okay, uh, this is uh, this may sound crazy, but you have to believe because it's not me who's telling this. Uh, Roshan Devapura, CEO of ICT in Sri Lanka, and um, uh, this was like uh, this is like some inception uh, presentation, inside presentation. Uh, so <laughs> uh, now this was his presentation on last Iswabimani Awards, and he was pointing out that currently. Uh, Sri Lankan population is 20 million and also we have 20 million mobile phones in Sri Lanka. So, going back to my point, now the population is 20 million, uh, there are 20 million mobile phones in Sri Lanka and according to Wikipedia, the English literacy in Sri Lanka is only 10%. English literacy in Sri Lanka is only 10%. So what that means is 90% of population needs local language support. 90% of population. So this is a point that we usually don't see because now in our day to day life we most of us are dealing with the same kind of people, the same class, same society. So actually we don't, uh, we don't really get that, we don't really understand that there is a requirement of 90% of Sri Lanka to have local language support. So, as mobile technology is a technology that has gone to masses, now you can see there are 20 million of population and 20 million of mobile phones. That is, that now this mobile technology has gone to the masses. So, what this means is 90% of mobile phones in Sri Lanka need local language support. 90% of mobile phones need local language support. So it's clear to you that what is the importance of local languages on mobile apps. Okay, but you may think, uh, but Android? You may think, uh, and I say yes, because the future is Android. You can see these uh, two uh, comparison a new user who is going to buy a mobile phone he has two options that is a, a non-smartphone with uh, these hard keys and a smartphone with this uh, powered Android and uh, touch screen all that high-end technologies and if you consider the price the smartphone is uh, 13,000 while the non-smartphone is 20,000 so you can decide what will be the future in this industry. Okay, uh, going back to our subject, now mobile localization can also be categorized into a UI localization and content localization. And this is an example, two examples for this. Uh, the uh, left one is a micro mesh uh, single SMS app that is currently available on Android market. And it's an example, this screenshot is an example for UI localization. Now you can see the menus are localized. And the other one, uh, Basha Pua, is, a, is an example for content localization. Now you can see there, the UI is not localized, but the content of the app is localized. Okay, uh, now I'm going to show you an another story. That is the power of localized apps. The power of localized app. So to show you this, I get two examples: a non-localized app versus a localized app. Currently available on Android market. And uh, don't really care about the brand. Just uh, consider these two as non-localized app and a localized app. These are two apps. Uh, Other than that, app is a basically a news reader that brings latest news from Sri Lanka to users and it can be uh, read, uh, read news as text and also watch news, videos and that application is only available in English language and uh, the other the uh, that localized app Basha Pua is also a news reader and it brings users news from four different channels and the difference is, it is available in all three languages, Sinhala, English and Tamil. And if you compare these two, you can see the, uh, 
date of publish of that non-localized app. Uh, now it's really uh, nearly two months up to now the existence, and you can see the number of installs is 500,000 for two months. The number of installs is 500,000. Now, if you compare with this, it's, it is launched on uh, December 24th, and uh, it's nearly one month, and you can see number of uh, installs, 1,000 to 5,000. So this is the power of localized app. Now, both of these applications, both of these apps, does the same thing. They do the same thing that brings latest Sri Lankan news to users. But the main difference is that uh, non-localized app is only available in English and the other is available in all three languages, singular, Tamil and English. So you can see for two months that app has only 500 to 1000 downloads while the other app has singular, Tamil app has 1000 to 5000 installs per month. And also you can see the graphs. Uh, it is something like uh, a saturated graph for that uh, non-localized app and you can see how that localized app is growing. Okay, now here is the story. Now I hope you have a clear understand of what the importance of local languages on mobile apps and also the power of localized apps. And also we do have limitations that is Android doesn't support single Tamil complex script languages and also uh, Android does not have single Tamil input method and uh, we, but we have resources available to overcome these issues. I would be glad to announce that Basha has decided to uh, share this technology we invented to achieve the correct rendering on Android for the benefit of Sri Lankan masses. So this technology will be available as two SDKs set rendering engine SDK and Pelakuru singular SDK. If I explain you in brief, now set rendering engine is a, uh, as you may, some of you may already know, it's a custom uh, complex script rendering engine for Android that uh, that is used for achieve correct singular rendering, singular and Tamil rendering on Android. So the SDK will be available for uh, uh, developers. And it will be a proprietary Java library where you can uh, add to your Eclipse Android project and uh, achieve the correct single uh, Tamil rendering by calling its method. And also, uh, Helakuru is the same. Helakuru is the first uh, soft keyboard and IME input method editor for Android. And it is now also available as an SDK that you can uh, add to your Eclipse project. And if your local language app needs single input, you can just embed this keyboard and use it uh, easily. So, uh, this is the end of my presentation. I would like to summarize the th things we discussed today. Local languages in Sri Lanka, Sinhala Tamil, digital representation, Unicode, localization categories, UI localization, content localization. Demand for local languages in desktop platform is uh, only 10%. And demand for local languages in mobile platform, it's 90%. And the future is Android, power of localized apps, the limitations, Android does not support, available resources, such as DK, Calcutta as DK. And all of, all of these are there, you just have to go and start developing. Thank you.